Hi everyone, I'm just uh, trying to do a small video about how to add the plugin code GPT to your Android Studio ID and see how it works. So it's something that you can use uh, in your day to day life uh, when you uh, when you work as a coder. So you can use uh, use uh, use code GPT as uh, like in, in order to do some pair programming. Uh, get explanation of uh, some code snippet how it how it's working likewise so let's see how it works so from android studio you have to go to settings and then uh, go to plugin section and then let's search for code gpt mm. sorry Right. Oops, I think I yeah, you have to go here. Select plugins again and code GPT. Try not installed. Go to marketplace. Finally, yes, it's there. So hit install. And uh, this might take a few minutes to get it installed. Uh, set apply. And then hit OK. So as soon as you install the plugin, you can see that this icon pops up here. So what you can do is uh, with this uh, it looks like you haven't configured your api key yet visit core gdp settings to do so so here you have to input the api key okay let's check this first settings providers core gpt okay Oops. Okay, API key is here, copied. Let's go here to the settings and uh, Okay, let's see the path from here. File settings preference tool for your drawers. Tools, providers, code GPT. Okay, found it. Let me have to paste it. What else? Okay. And guess this start code. Click. I get we can keep it as it is. Code. it's not available this is, seems to be a bit use model optimized for conversion okay will this work yes it works 
to populate a list using Jetpack Compose, you can use the lazy column. So here it is. It gives the code you want. So you can uh, simply <laughs> copy this and paste it. But of course, you need to build the application. About it. this is uh, just a simple uh, this sample application which I created. Going to file new and creating a new project just for this matter. So you have to uh, write the application, write the code accordingly so you can use composables and uh, write the compose uh, project so this is one thing that uh, you can do so when you are and also we can do something like this so we can select the code section and uh, right click and uh, there you can see code gpt and we can ask it to explain so you can see that uh, the selected part is, is this is what we selected and then it gives explanation this code is part of an android application that sets up navigation using navigation role so this explains uh, this code explains uh, the chat gpt uh, the, the code gpt explains what this code does we can try out something like uh, using code gpt refactor so it will give the areas of for improvements like naming convention code structures use uh, removing redundant code likewise so after the refactoring it gives something like this so this is really useful uh, when you're when doing day-to-day -day, day -day, uh, coding and uh, if you're the only developer this is also a very good solution to uh, get your code reviewed get opinion on what you have built um, and uh, get the explanation in case if you find something uh, difficult to understand so yeah this is about it and uh, if there's any question uh, you can uh, leave a comment